Now next stop is a, a little interesting where we are talking about converting any classic PIA to PS Fluid user interface. So before going further from here, we need to ask some questions like what is the purpose of that particular classic page that you want to convert? Do we really need to convert it? Uh, like if it is a one-time setup and if it is having a lot of pages and information to be filled in for one-time setup, so do we actually need to access that page on a daily basis or maybe require for some uh, decision making? Maybe not, right? So is it a required, uh, is it required regular user input from various devices? That is another criteria. And also we need to understand the complexity of that particular classic page that we want to convert. So based on all these pointers, we need to come up with a reason and uh, uh, understanding why we need to convert it. Because once you will commit, it will require some investment and uh, resource allocation to get it done. So these are some of the common steps for converting a classic page into fluid page. There is no set steps to get it converted. It's, there is no step-by-step -step guide for it. It depends on our learning from our uh, fluid learning process. Whatever new things we know, we, more we know, more we can put into converting a existing page into a fluid page. Like for example, here we are converting a very simple book code page into a fluid page. For that, we need to create a fluid component, then another uh, fluid page. Then we need to add that fluid page to fluid component. We need to change the people code reference uh, into the existing page because we have changed the name of the component page, etc. Then we need to update, remove, or redesign some un unsupported con supported controls. For example, this particular grid in classic mode is not um, accessible or supported on the fluid mode, so we need to convert it into flex grid. The save and return to search buttons are not automatically added into your fluid page, so we need to add them uh, separately. Once all these things done, we need to go through creating a search page for it. Then finally adjust and finalize the layout. And in the end, you need to implement it and then test it on various devices. So this is an example that we have created for book code. So let me first show you the how it looks on a classic mode. So this is fluid book code is a chart field uh, configuration required on um, in people's or financials. So page looks something like this where you can add new book codes. It is based on set ID and book code and have a lot of buttons there, save, return to search, etc. When we convert it into a fluid mode, then the page will look something like this. So the search page will change and you can see the data the grid, grid itself look a, a little bit different and the buttons you can add based on your requirement whatever you want 